Hello everybody. In the previous video for this series, I walked you through a day in my print lab when I was doing fulfillment at home and how I would maximize my day. In this video, I'm going to show you how I automated my fulfillment so that I no longer had to 3D print at home. Well, I should, I should give a big exception. I still do custom work at home, so when I get custom 3D print jobs that I have to sit down and design, then I produce them in my own 3D print lab. But outside of that, all the items that I have designed and ready to go are now fulfilled by a third-party printing partner. You know, this video has been a long time in the making, not because it's that difficult to make or has that much information, but because I didn't really know how to approach it. In my fulfillment, I solved a problem that I was having, which might not apply to everybody out there that wants to start a 3D printing related business. My problem was very specific. When I was originally looking to automate my fulfillment, my original problem was, okay, I have a product that is too big and too massive for me to have other 3D print labs that are mainstream really crank it out for me. They're charging me too much. It doesn't pair up with the price that I need to use. So I actually had to go out of my way to find a partner that was basically a guy like me running his own lab, which led immediately to the second problem, which is I get orders. How do I send those orders over to my printing partner without having to manually do it myself, like compile emails with the orders, send that over? So I was trying to figure out a way to automate that. And before I knew about make.com or anything like that, I was investigating maybe paying a developer to develop like a Zapier connection. Then I had a light bulb go off one day and I'm so glad I did because I got to apply one of my favorite axioms, keep it simple, stupid. I use a shipping software and if you look at my screen, that's exactly what I'm using, Pirate Ship. They have been incredibly useful for several different reasons. One of them being that it's absolutely free. There's no membership cost. Pirate Ship has allowed me to have multiple different from addresses. I've been able to use this service for free and I get access to the same rates that you get with like Shipping Easy or ShipStation, all of the, the kind of big shipping plugins, I don't see a difference in the rates. And I have friends that use the other and I compare to mine, it's the same rates, only I don't have to pay for a monthly account. And what was my light bulb moment? Instead of having some software created to, to make our systems talk or to even automate emails with the order content, which might have been easier, what I ultimately opted to do was tell them about Pirate Ship, ask them to create a free account because it doesn't cost them to create account, and then they were able to log in, view all of my orders, because I just had the plugin installed to my website. So if you have WooCommerce or if you have Shopify, it's just a plugin. Once the plugin is installed, all your orders will automatically be visible in Pirate Ship. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and say you have orders on deck or waiting to be processed. You're going to see them. And when you open them up, they're going to be itemized. So my 3D printing partner can see every single item that is part of the order. And to make this work and make it practical in 3D printing, the only thing I really had to do, I had already given them all of my files. The last step was to make sure that the naming was correct and it wasn't. So I had to actually go in and make sure that all my items were titled the exact same title as the file that my 3D printer partner you know, had. That way when they see the orders, those things match up. Once I did that, it was just done. It was like we didn't need any automations, we didn't need any special software, they just log in there and that's where they not only view my orders and know what to crank out, but they generate the shipping labels on their end and ship. And then they'd send me an invoice at every Friday and I'd settle up. I encourage you to check out Pirate Ship. I don't get any affiliate income. They don't have an affiliate portal or anything like that. I just found it incredibly useful. That is how I automated my fulfillment. I'm not sure that that quite applies to everybody. If you design a bunch of cool stuff and you want to get it out there, there are a few cool ass websites that allow you to upload your objects and sell them in a marketplace. The one that I have used is called Shapeways. Like a lot of other things, you create an account, click over on, see on the menu bar, it has marketplace to the far right hand side, click on that and you upload your objects and people have the ability to browse these things and then they can order them. Let's see, let's let's look in the meme section and see what fun stuff they have. Oh, who doesn't want a grumpy cat Christmas ornament? So you get to choose your material. Anyone who wants can contact you, like if they want to customize it or just have questions about it. And that's it. 
you upload your objects and this 3D printing service actually prints it and will ship it to your customers. Chris, if it's that easy, why don't you just use Shapeways to sell your cigar molds? Good question. Look at the price of this Christmas ornament right here, $37.78. While I might be willing to do that for the novelty of having Grumpy Kitty on my Christmas tree, I'm not necessarily willing to do that for other everyday practical items. My cigar molds, if you look in the cigar mold industry, just in tobacco or even cannabis, they average around $100 for a professional cigar mold, and that's the big full-size units. My competition sells and machined aluminum that is, you know, I consider it like the MacBook Pro of my market niche, but they sell it for 130. How much did it cost when I uploaded my cigar molds to Shapeways? Let's take a look. Up in the top right hand side of the screen, I'm gonna click the little red button that says get a quote, and we're going to upload my file and see what they're going to charge me to print it. Very easy for you to upload your own models and get a, a quick snapshot of what you should expect your pricing to be. And as soon as it gets this file ready, we select a material, choose options, and we'll get our pricing. And as you can see, no matter what I select, my starting price is $428, which for a prototype or for certain functional parts, like if you're designing something that can actually command that price, this makes sense. I'm selling these on my website for $69 because I'm trying to have a better price than my competition that makes a metal product, but also, it, it, like, I couldn't upcharge anything. Like, so this website simply does not work for the product that I'm selling, and that's why I wanted to show you this. In my particular use case, I couldn't use a 3D print service to fulfill any of my orders. I actually had to put out feelers on Craigslist and a bunch of different marketplaces until I actually found a guy who runs a small lab and he was willing to work with me personally and it's not a website, it's not like a big service or anything like that, and that's what I had to find. Uh, just basically somebody else out there, 3D printing, who saw how much I was selling, was like, okay, I'll take on this load, this might be worth my time, and sure enough, it's been a great relationship ever since. We also have, what is this one? Yeah, Colts 3D. So this one just came across my feed like a couple months ago, and it looks really promising. So while I haven't used this one, it's just another example of a website that is centered around 3D print fulfillment that is not only a marketplace where you can create listings and sell those items, but it's a place that's going to crank out the items for you and ship them. And that more or less concludes the meat and potatoes of my 3D print business from home series. Now I'm just going to add videos that amount to cool tips and tricks and cool insights. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I wish you all the success in the world in your 3D printing endeavors, onward and upward.